Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Celebs. In today's video, we'll discuss Hotel Hell Hotels. Where are they now? Part 4. Let's head into it. Karen Townsend. Halloween is often linked with someone who looks similar to Karen Townsend, and she certainly fits the bill as a witch. The narrative claims that Karen dresses in long black robes and has the look and hairstyle of a witch, despite the fact that she does not indulge in magic or actual witchcraft. In addition to behaving weirdly, she also happens to be a hoarder, which makes her even a more peculiar character. She has spread her possessions all over the place in the motel. Instead of leaving some of the closets vacant to accommodate the guest's wardrobe, she has stuffed several of them with her things. In addition, she has a significant number of baskets, which she sells for anywhere from $1 to $30, and which are loaded with insects. Aside from trinkets, she also offers a range of other items such as hats, dolls, coffee cups, and stale bread, among other things. It was acquired by Jason, Karen's son, and Anna, Karen's daughter-in-law, to give Karen something to do while he was away from the family business. Karen treats the house as if it were her own home, and it is stuffed with her possessions rather than running it as a real business enterprise. She even sleeps in the midst of the disarray that is her workstation. A multitude of enhancements were made by Gordon, including the inclusion of a genuine hamburger and mac and cheese, as well as salad and chicken pot pie, among other things. The meal is simple to prepare and differs based on the seasonal ingredients that are available at the various points during the year. He also removed the microwaves and extra freezers from the kitchen in order to discourage the usage of non-fresh foods in the kitchen. Similarly, Jason took the decision to join Karen Steeman and assist her in opening the company and making it successful. Karen has relocated to a leased apartment as part of her transformation and she no longer sleeps at her place of employment. As a result of a better appearance of the institution, as well as an upgraded menu, the town's inn will be there for quite some time. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on these hotels in the comment section. Philip Loving Foss Philip is a complete train wreck who is suffering from substance addiction concerns. He is a recovering alcoholic who has had several run-ins with the authorities as a result of his drinking. In reality, Philip was detained for driving under the influence the day before Gordon arrived. He may be at the same degree of alcoholism as actors Robert Downey Jr. and David Hazelhoff. Philip would appear to be a different person every time he drank because of his alcoholism. He may be the jovial and upbeat Philip, or he could be the enraged Philip, who threatens to close the hotel and fire everyone who works there. The morale of the employees has suffered as a result of this. It is underpaid, overworked, and stressed out because of the situation. Further complicating matters is the fact that Philip is enjoying the high life, with multiple high-end automobiles parked in his driveway. He also travels and spends a lot of money on himself and his girlfriend Ginger, whom he calls Ginger. Meanwhile, the employees are not given enough hours, are underpaid, and are required to work with substandard food and equipment. Instead of prudently investing the money he received from his now-deceased wife Jewel Lovingfoss, he spent the money on accumulating rubbish, which he now puts in the different rooms of the hotel where he now works. This reduced the number of available rooms to four, thus limiting the hotel's capacity to make a profit. Gordon attempted to bring new life into the hotel by renovating the space and reworking the restaurant's menu. Philip was also persuaded to get therapy by him. He feels sympathetic to Philip's plight because his own father and brother have struggled with substance misuse difficulties in their own lives. Philip, on the other hand, appears to have been unable to maintain his composure and was detained on many occasions following the concert. It was finally sold to a Seattle-based investment company for $2.8 million in 2016, after which it was decommissioned. What do you think about these hotels? Did you know where though? Did you know where are they now? Let us know in the comment section below. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell so you definitely won't miss any of our future videos. And watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next video.